Earth's poles show signs of flipping, widespread grid failures imminent. Scientists from the University of Colorado in Boulder are sounding the alarm that the Earth's magnetic poles are showing signs of reversing. Although the pole reversal, in and of itself, isn't unprecedented, the solar winds that would take out the power grid and make parts of the globe uninhabitable could cause widespread disasters. The Earth has a fierce molten core that generates a magnetic field capable of defending our planet against devastating solar winds. This magnetic field is vital to life on Earth and has weakened by 15% over the last 200 years. This protective field acts as a shield against harmful solar radiation and extends thousands of miles into space and its magnetism affects everything from global communication to power grids. Historically, Earth's north and south magnetic poles have flipped every 200,000 or 300,000 years. However, the last flip was about 780,000 years ago, meaning our planet is well overdue. The latest satellite data, from the European Space Agency's Swarm Trio which monitors the Earth's magnetic field, suggests a pole flip may be imminent. The satellites allow researchers to study changes building at the Earth's core, where the magnetic field is generated. Their observations suggest molten iron and nickel are draining the energy out of the Earth's core near where the magnetic field is generated. While scientists aren't sure why exactly this happens, they describe it as a restless activity that suggests the magnetic field is preparing to flip. The signs of the Earth's poles reversing are also apparent to Daniel Baker, who says this would devastate the power grid. If a switch happens, we would likely be exposed to solar winds capable of punching holes into the ozone layer. In a new report, Baker, who is the director of the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics at the University of Colorado in Boulder, claims if this reversal happens, it is likely to render some areas of the planet uninhabitable by knocking out power grids. Baker's comments were made in an in-depth and dark report written by Alana Mitchell, who has a new book about the topic titled The Spinning Magnet, the electromagnetic force that created the modern world and could destroy it. The dangers, devastating streams of particles from the sun, galactic cosmic rays, and enhanced ultraviolet B rays from a radiation-damaged ozone layer, to name just a few of the invisible forces that could harm or kill living creatures, Michelle writes. This is serious business, Richard Holm, professor of Earth, Ocean, and Ecological Sciences at Liverpool University told Mail Online. Imagine for a moment your electrical power supply was knocked out for a few months, very little works without electricity these days. Researchers predict that in the event of a flip, every year a hundred thousand people would die from the increased levels of space radiation. Radiation at ground level would increase so much that some estimates suggest overall exposure to cosmic radiation would double causing more deaths from cancer. Radiation could be three five times greater than that from the man-made ozone holes. Furthermore, the ozone holes would be larger and longer-lived, said D. Colin Forsyth from the Mullard Space Science Laboratory at UCL. The Earth's magnetic field surrounds our planet like an invisible force field, protecting life from harmful solar radiation by deflecting charged particles away. Far from being constant, this field is continuously changing. Indeed, our planet's history includes at least several hundred global magnetic reversals, where north and south magnetic poles swap places. So when's the next one happening and how will it affect life on Earth? During a reversal the magnetic field won't be zero, but will assume a weaker and more complex form. It may fall to 10% of the present day strength and have magnetic poles at the equator or even the simultaneous existence of multiple north and south magnetic poles. Geomagnetic reversals occur a few times every million years on average. However, the interval between reversals is very irregular and can range up to tens of millions of years. There can also be temporary and incomplete reversals known as events and excursions, in which the magnetic poles move away from the geographic poles, perhaps even crossing the equator, before returning back to their original locations. The last full reversal, 
The Brunhas Machayama occurred around 780,000 years ago. A temporary reversal, the Lishkamp event, occurred around 41,000 years ago. It lasted less than 1,000 years with the actual change of polarity lasting around 250 years. Power cut or mass extinction? The alteration in the magnetic field during a reversal will weaken its shielding effect allowing heightened levels of radiation on and above the Earth's surface. Were this to happen today, the increase in charged particles reaching the Earth would result in increased risks for satellites, aviation, and ground-based electrical infrastructure. Geomagnetic storms, driven by the interaction of anomalously large eruptions of solar energy with our magnetic field, give us a foretaste of what we can expect with a weakened magnetic shield. In 2003, the so-called Halloween storm caused local electricity grid blackouts in Sweden, required the reading of flights to avoid communication blackout and radiation risk, and disrupted satellites and communication systems. But this storm was minor in comparison with other storms of the recent past, such as the 1859 Carrington event, which caused a roar as far south as the Caribbean. The impact of a major storm on today's electronic infrastructure is not fully known. Of course any time spent without electricity, heating, air conditioning, GPS or internet would have a major impact, widespread blackouts could result in economic disruption measuring in tens of billions of dollars a day. In terms of life on Earth and the direct impact of a reversal on our species we cannot definitively predict what will happen as modern humans did not exist at the time of the last full reversal. Several studies have tried to link past reversals with mass extinctions, suggesting some reversals and episodes of extended volcanism could be driven by a common cause. However, there is no evidence of any impending cataclysmic volcanism and so we would only likely have to contend with the electromagnetic impact if the field does reverse relatively soon. We do know that many animal species have some form of magnetoception that enables them to sense the Earth's magnetic field. They may use this to assist in long-distance navigation during migration. But it is unclear what impact a reversal might have on such species. What is clear is that early humans did manage to live through the Lushkamp event and life itself has survived the hundreds of full reversals evidenced in the geologic record. Can we predict geomagnetic reversals? The simple fact that we are overdue for a full reversal and the fact that the Earth's field is currently decreasing at a rate of 5% per century, has led to suggestions that the field may reverse within the next 2000 years. But pinning down an exact date, at least for now, will be difficult. The Earth's magnetic field is generated within the liquid core of our planet, by the slow churning of molten iron. Like the atmosphere and oceans, the way in which it moves is governed by the laws of physics. We should therefore be able to predict the weather of the core by tracking this movement, just like we can predict real weather by looking at the atmosphere and ocean. A reversal can then be likened to a particular type of storm in the core, where the dynamics, and magnetic field, go haywire, at least for a short while, before settling down again. The difficulties of predicting the weather beyond a few days are widely known, despite us living within and directly observing the atmosphere. Yet predicting the Earth's core is a far more difficult prospect principally because it is buried beneath 3,000 kilometers of rock such that our observations are scant and indirect. However, we are not completely blind. We know the major composition of the material inside the core and that it is liquid. A global network of ground-based observatories and orbiting satellites also measure how the magnetic field is changing, which gives us insight into how the liquid core is moving. The recent discovery of a jet stream within the core highlights our revolving ingenuity and increasing ability to measure and infer the dynamics of the core. Coupled with numerical simulations and laboratory experiments to study the fluid dynamics of the planet's interior, our understanding is developing at a rapid rate. The prospect of being able to forecast the Earth's core is perhaps not too far out of reach.